Blackberrying by Sylvia Plath. Nobody in the lane. Nothing. Nothing but blackberries. Blackberries on the either side. One on the right, mainly. A blackberry alley going down in hooks. And the sea, somewhere in the end of it, heaving. Blackberries as big as the ball of my thumb and dumb as eyes. Ebon in the hedges, fat with blue-red juices. These days squander in my fingers. I did not ask for such blood sisterhood. They must love me. They accommodate themselves to my milk bottle, flattening their sides. Overhead goes the chops in black cacophonous flocks, bits of burnt paper wheeling in a blown sky. They Protesting, protesting. They do not think the sea will appear at all. The high green meadows are glowing as if lit within. I come to one bush of berries so ripe. It is a bush of flies hanging the blue green bells and wing pains in a shiny screen. The honey feast of the berries has stunned them. They believe in heaven. One last hook and the berries and bushes end. The only thing to come now is the sea. From two winds, a sudden wind funnels at me, slapping its phantom laundry in my face. These hills are too green and sweet to have tasted salt. I follow the sheep path between them. The last hook brings me to the northern face of the hill. The face is an orange rock that looks out on nothing, nothing but a great space of white and pewter lights and a din like a silversmith beating and beating at an intractable metal. Thank you.